Hey guys, so I'm finally going to be showing you how I get, well, how I do my eyebrows. First off, let me talk about the noise. In the summer, it was my fan, and now it is my heater. Um, hopefully you can't hear that too much, but if you can, I'll probably just end up doing a voiceover. So I'm going to just jump straight into it. This is my third time filming this video. I believe both times I accidentally deleted the file that my eyebrow tutorial was in. I'm so devastated with the last one because I actually finished editing it. I filmed it, I edited it, I added the music and I was ready to export and then I deleted it and I couldn't get it back. Hopefully that goes well. I'm really not trying to do a voiceover so this heating needs to stop. I've been waiting for like 15 minutes for it to stop. I mean thank god we have good heating but like geez louise. First things first, one of the things you're gonna need is an eyebrow brush or a spoolie, a double-ended one or you could get the separate but I feel like the dead double-ended one is way more convenient and I'm first gonna start with this end and I'm just gonna brush the hairs up into their natural shape basically. I was cleaning up my makeup the other day and I found a bunch of pencils that I've bought and never really used that I can actually use for my eyebrow. I'm not gonna use any of them today because I haven't tested them out enough to see if I like them on my face. But anyway, for the sake of showing you guys what I'm talking about, but when I say line it before, I'm just gonna use one of them. This is Ruby Kisses Go Brow Eyebrow Pencil. And I guess meanwhile I'm doing this, I can also just test it out and see how I like it. See where the hairs begin? I'm just going to draw a line there. Like you see, like all my hairs, they start right here. So I'm going to draw it on along that. Another really, really, really good tip of drawing your eyebrows on is to tilt your head backwards. And then you like literally see the complete outline of like the underside of your eyebrow and the upper side too. You can literally see exactly where I would draw rather than it being like this way. You know, just tilt your head up in front of the mirror and try to draw on your eyebrows and you'll see how much easier it is. I feel like I'm describing this so badly, but stick with me. Stick with me guys. So the next Thing you're gonna need is one of these little things it's just a razor this one's brand new these are literally a dollar at the hair store hopefully this one's good because I just got it this one is called Annie's and we're gonna see how well Annie's work see the line that we just drew on we're literally oh this is a good razor what okay so we're literally just gonna shave around it I took up a bunch of hairs there Cool. So for the underside, I just use the edge of it, like this little tip right here, and I just pull up my brow just to make sure I'm like able to get there. So I'm like able to get the razor to glide across my skin. I'm just gonna, oh, I cut myself, guys. Wow, what a great tutorial. That's never happened before. But anyway, despite the fact that it cut me and I didn't even know, this razor is super duper good. It's literally getting all the hairs. And that's just amazing. And now for the in-between part, usually I just use the size of the razor to measure out how far I want my eyebrows to be from each other. So I'll just take that right down the middle. And this is for all my unibrow shorties. I don't I mean, I guess I have a unibrow, like, it grows hair there, but it's never, like, connected in my life, so, it's kind of a unibrow. Yeah, one thing that I used to do, but not really much anymore, is I would comb my hair up, the ends of the hair that comes out where you drew on. I would just take some scissors, like, they have scissors for eyebrows, but I would actually just use whatever. You might want to get the proper scissors for them because they're a lot smaller. And from here, you would just wipe it off with some alcohol pads as they would and then moisturize after because, you know, alcohol takes the moisture out of your skin so you just want to 
put that right back in there that's literally it for grooming so the main product that i use while i'm filling in my eyebrows is my elf lock it lock on liner and brow cream it's just this little one here and i use it in espresso and the consistency i wanted to add for this brow cream is super duper 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 creamy like a little bit more creamy than i want so usually when i get it i just leave it open for a little bit and let it dry up a little but if it over dries or you accidentally leave it open a really good trick to having it become creamy again is putting a drop of eye drops in there so I'm gonna go in again and brush the hairs on my brow up and again like I did with the pencil I'm just gonna tilt my head backwards and I'm gonna start lining where the hairs underneath my brow begin and I'm gonna bring this line out from the hair it's a little bit towards the center of my nose bridge just a little bit and I do the line underneath it super thick all the way through from the start to finish and now I'm gonna do my top brow but with my top brow I don't start all the way from the beginning I start a little bit over and I do the same thing The top brow doesn't always come out exactly how I want it to be shaped, but I fix that with some concealer when I'm done. And from here, I just fill it in. And for the end part, I use whatever's left from here, and I just use a lighter straight strokes down so now for cleaning up the brow I use the LA girl pro concealer in the color toffee and I just basically line around where I filled in obviously because you wouldn't want to ruin the work that you just did that wouldn't even make sense line underneath it For this part right here, also even when you're drawing it on, if you put pressure on your brush here, it like automatically goes into the shape of your brow bone, like perfectly. So that helps a lot. I feel like my, fo my camera is going in and out of focus, and I hope not because that's the last thing I need right now. And from here, I start using my pinky finger and I just blend that in. And with that color against my skin tone, it just gives it this like look that I just got my eyebrows done. And you can stop there. I'm pretty sure most people stop there, but but after I clean up my brow, I always go in with a powder to like set it. So I'm gonna use this powder right here. This is the Modern Fashion Palette, and I got this off of Amazon. And I just take some up on my brush and I just re-line where it was where I lined with my own um, cream. Hey guys, so that is all I do for my eyebrows. This is my current eyebrow routine. I finally got this video up for you guys after promising for like a million years and having like a billion technical difficulties. It's finally here. I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any questions or anything. And thanks for watching. Bye!